If I were a few years younger, I could be your Cendrillon. <laughs> That's, oh, Massane, right? Massane. Have you, you've covered this role? Yes. Okay. And have you performed it in any kind of way at all? Mm -hmm. Is this an audition aria for you? Yes. I think it's a really good audition aria for you. Cool. I'm very excited by your first phrase. I go, oh, okay, what's this going to be? Which is a great thing. Know what your starter piece should be. You want it to, to inform the people that you're with what it is that you do really well. And it seems like this is a piece you can settle into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, is an, this was a Matthew Epstein thing that I never forget he said in a master class I took from him. He said, starter arias and pieces in operas are very good first arias for auditions. This is the first thing we hear the prince sing, Una voce poco fa, because it's written by these genius composers to help us, for, number one, introduce the character and warm up the voice. So all of this, I, I think, is very, very um, savvy of you, which is great. Tell me who the prince is. Uh, the prince is Prince Charming. He's terribly heartbroken. He says that he's sad and alone and um, he just, he wants to find the woman of his dreams. Yeah. Um, but he hasn't found her and he's about to go to the ball where his father's commanded him to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To I know the plot, but I'm asking yeah. who he is. Yeah. So what would the girl of his dreams be like? She should be intelligent, she mm. should be beautiful, mm. um, would share their sorrow Does she read together. poetry? Yes. I'm pretty sure, because you're so poetic. Yeah. You're so poetic. What, like, 14, 15, 16-year-old guy is going around, take my youth, you know, <laughs> take my youth. I'm, I'm so sad, it's like springtime without roses. <laughs> right? You're a poet, and you're young, you're an adolescent, or 
you know, right in the, in the mm, of the hormones, right? And you're also Prince William here, you know? I, I get Prince William from you, which is fabulous. Awesome. I see this great dignified, I can see that you are um, regal, but I miss the fire. Okay. I miss the poetry. I miss the Prince Harry a little bit. Because <laughs> I think that's also Prince Harry is in there too. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. And this happens. Ta da ta da ta da ta da ta da. That's what I want. I'm going to ride to her on my white horse. And <gasps> but how can I when I'm so sad? Okay. This, I need much more contrast. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing. Massane, you have no choices. There are no artistic choices to make in Massane. Not a lot in Puccini either, right? Mm -hmm. They tell you everything that they want. And there's these big, long lines. What do you think that means? Even though he's got breath marks within them and mm -hmm. rests and things, these big, long oh, lines. Mm, yeah, I'm also missing that. Okay. I'm getting, and the piano doesn't help you. No, it's not you, it's the orchestra. It's Massane. <laughs> blanc, blanc. Blanc, okay. blanc, blanc, if we're not careful. It gets mm -hmm. very vertical. Why does this have to be horizontal? It's that. Okay. I need to find her. I have to find her. I'll give her. It's, that's why this has to be horizontal. Mm -hmm. Okay, and ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. that can become more vertical and agitated because it's more animated, it's more virile, it's more ha-ha, uh -huh. okay? Mm -hmm. So what we need now is you've presented beautiful singing, very good French, very good stature. Now we need to make it human. Okay. Now we need to make it real, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's try again. Sorry, just one more time. Yeah. You're giving it a little bit, but it's a little acty. Okay. okay. I need you to feel it here. And it's that long line, but it's those chromatics. Listen to the chromatics and feel them here. And maybe not be sad. Maybe you've just, you just finished one of the great poems of your life. Either you wrote it or you read some Lord Byron thing, right? <sighs> That's going to be for you. I'm going to find her. Maybe it's not sad. Maybe that chromatic is, how am I going to do it? Mm -hmm. See if we can play with a different color. Okay. I love her, and she doesn't even know it yet. But I'm going to give her the life of her dreams. If only I could get out of this stuffy, formal castle. What am I going to do? I don't know yet but I have to do something. I can't stand it anymore. Go. Go. Yep, what's that? You guys hear sol, avec, right? Did you feel that? Yes. You're stopping instead of sol, I can't find the perfect poetic phrase to give just yet. There it is. Avec maison, seul, avec maison. Right? Instead of seul. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. And do you get how the thought comes to you on sort of, you have this fabulous mm -hmm. 16th note as a pickup. Dun, da, da. You don't know what you're going to say. Allez. Laissez-moi seul. Okay. More spontaneous, more in the moment. Just maybe you just want to measure there. But you see how you can play with the, the different thought train through that opening? Mm -hmm. Don't be thinking, what do I do? What do I do? I'm sad. I'm sad. Think subtext. I love her. Then it, then it arrives. Mm -hmm. I love her. She doesn't know it yet. She doesn't know it yet. And I, I, I'll do anything get out of here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just try the intro one more time with real deep subtext. 
specific. Go, 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 more. of that opening phrase? Do not mistake that that is just as important as anything you sing. It's your responsibility to tell us the story of that music. It is just as important, and it's not necessarily easier. How much concentration did you have? What? Yeah, you had this energy about you. I'm not saying don't move, mm -hmm. but I saw there was an internal life that was very sincere. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. Oh. This is good. This is your new home base now. Cool. Awesome. Then, sun. That was great. Avec mes amis. And he even gives you a little room. Mm -hmm. So, sun, there's the hope. Nobody understands how sad. So, you have to spin that triplet, mm -hmm. spin the tenuto on mes amis, and lift off on the rest. Okay? okay? So this is looking at a score that's really detailed, no choices, but you have to give it life, as mm -hmm. if you are Jules Massenet in that moment creating it. Mm -hmm. Allez, laissez-moi seul. So if you're staying on the breath and spinning, sol, still send it forward. You're looking for her in every note and every phrase you sing. You're searching. You know you're going to find her. Mm -hmm. So don't let that drop off early. Okay. Sol and sol. Spin, spin, launch. Good. Go. I need more direction. Do you, he do you feel that? Mm -hmm. yep. sans amour. Partly the way it's written, mm -hmm. but you have to. Sans amour. Each one um, spins into the next one forward okay. and resist going too slowly. A conductor is going to keep you moving all the time through that, okay? So if you're driving it and filling it, it won't feel slow. Okay? This phrase felt great. Did you like it? Did, yeah. yeah. Then we get the poetry of the character. Did you guys hear the difference? We get the poetry of the character. Can we do Allez one more, one more time? Allez. What? What? spinning really well, but I need more consonants. This is poetry. Pour moi tous les jours sont morts. All of that. Poetry, flowers, everything in all of that. So you don't have to, sh to demonstrate the poetry. It's right here. This is all, you live with the words and the music. Mm -hmm. Now also, think more spin than drive. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so just that it's this is spin, and it's as much as you going to her as you pulling her to you here, okay? It's going, it's circular all the time. One more time, Anka. Here we go, spinning. Wow, okay, what's up? 
right? <laughs> like night and day, you are the one, yes. <laughs> it's loosening up now because yeah. you've got, again, this regal thing. You will never lose that no matter what you do. That's inherent in you and it's fabulous. And it will work against you if you rely on that only. Now we need the, the, the heartbeat in it, okay? Do you want to take my shoes off? Or you're yeah, good? Sure. Everyone no, wants me to take my shoes off, so sure. Well, no, I mean, because no, if I, I couldn't. Okay, awesome. So let's talk about technically what you're doing to move the energy like that other than just physically loosening up. Do you feel how you're singing through the note? Yes. The energy is happening on the back third of mm -hmm. the note. It's like, it's, it's not accelerating, but the energy spins through the back half of the note, back third, back fifth, back sixth of the note. It becomes legato without driving, mm -hmm. but there's constant motion happening. Okay? Kay. One more time, right on curve. Yeah. Yeah. You felt it? Yeah. Did you guys hear it immediately? What were you thinking? What changed? I was thinking about singing through each note, but it, it was getting vertical. Yeah. Because I'm thinking about individual notes instead of the whole line. Like immediately. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Immediately. Sorry. Which is, no, I think that's <laughs> fabulous. Listen, this is the breakthrough moment where all of a sudden something sticks out and you're like, oh, right, that's not what I want to do anymore. Mm -hmm. That's old, old singing, okay? okay. Um, and if you're going to go quiet, if you're going to go soft, all of a sudden it needs more of that kind of energy, more of that internal life. Mm -hmm. The phrasing of this now, right? The phrasing of it starts really taking this new life. And all of a sudden we care who he is. And we sense this poetry. We sense this desperation. You mm -hmm. feeling it? Yes. You're starting to light up now rather than being a singer. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Can we start on that second cœur? What kind of right? But let's let's give it one phrase before, so we kind of. Um, pourtant de doux frisson here. Pourtant de doux frisson, frisson, frisson. That's such a great word, right? Mm -hmm. And here we need to see this is a change of thought. It's a change of music. But mm -hmm. pourtant de doux frisson glisse pour tout mon, pour tout mon. That one he doesn't lift off. Mm -hmm. He gives pourtant de doux frisson glisse partout mon être. So mm -hmm. that one you really need to make sure you go through. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can you give us the measure before pourtant? Tenuto over it. Mm -hmm. Because look what that's going to do. Excitement, excitement, excitement for my being, for my soul, for everything that I am. Pourtant de doux frisson glisse partout mon être, mon être. And then it should feel like the earth has opened up and. Um, uh, 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 what's the word? Um, when you're in a desert, away, a desert, and it's com no, it's completely abandoned you. There's another word. Uh, there's completely abandoned you. Mm -hmm. So you think maybe, oh, I love it. I want to think about her. I get all this, <gasps> but here I am. So with all that energy and everything on the first intro you gave us, you have to give us that same phrasing, that same energy, but feel like the world has has opened up underneath you. You are no longer standing on ground. You're completely alone. 
Nobody has ever been in this place before. Mm. That's all. <laughs> but do you, okay. Every marking, he's got a, he's got a reason. Pourtant, one more time. Just the, the uh, um, up into it, yeah. You record yourself a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. You guys record yourself. Painful. Not with you. It's beautiful with you. Painful with me. But, it, but because. Then do very, try and listen only for one thing. And in your case here, listen to dynamic. You have a very full, very lush, very beautiful voice. You will steal our hearts if you give us a real piano that's spinning and not slowing down in tempo. Mm -hmm. You'll steal every heart in that room. Okay? Mm -hmm. Instead of being mezzo piano plus, instead of approximating it, do it. Don't just gerify over it, Gentr okay. uh, genericify. Okay. <laughs> That's officially a word now. Do you know what I mean? Don't approximate it. Right. Okay? de do, prison. And you can push the tempo here a little bit. The, the conductor will be very happy. <laughs> Excitement. Now energy. Last thing, if you can get forward momentum without it feel liking it, without it feeling like it's moving. So it means <laughs> really rigorous tempo, ad, ad, being very adherent to the tempo. Mm -hmm. A spin, spin, spin like you can't believe, but then you go off the floor and you glide okay. in that piano world. So very strict in tempo without it feeling rhythmic. <laughs> Moving forward without pushing it, mm -hmm. being off the ground. It's as if it, you drink it in. It's as if it goes up this way, deeper into your heart. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Yeah. Just see if you can get it. So it's much more concentrated, and it's one inhale of breath. Still. So not slower, okay? Mm -hmm. Right there, and. And you could, the, if you could do what he has this on the last rosa. So we suspend, suspend, and then a swell at the very last minute. Mm -hmm. That's going to be magic. How's this feeling? New, but good. Yeah. It's, I think I want you to play more with this piano where it's spinning and connected, not held, mm -hmm. because you're, you're giving us a lot of voice all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you can, like an accordion, come in and out of that, it's going to be very exciting. Oh, there's so much to do. And we have to stop. Do you want to try all the way up to that point one time? Sure. See if you can get it. I know you can get it, but see what it feels like. <laughs> yeah? Let's try it. Okay. Tell me, though. The guy who's polishing the brass, and I just happen to be in the room. You have nobody else to talk to. You want to get me to listen to you.
it's gonna, there's a lot in there. There's a lot in there for you to play with. And going to these extremes, don't let your mezzo forte be like your mezzo piano. Don't do it. Yeah? Are you feeling resistance to that? Okay. This is going to be so good because you're going to do Octavian, you're going to do Companies, you're going to do all that stuff, and you need that energy between the notes always going. Never vocally enforced, but energy that's going. That's going to serve all this repertoire that you're going to do really fabulously, really well. I would get moving. Okay. Get moving, get on the, get twisting, moving around, getting the body freed up so that this follows. For sure. Yeah? It's beautiful, Samantha. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs>